They give them free housing. We have people in New York City that have been living in homeless shelters for over a year. Do you know how much it costs to feed one person, just one person, three meals a day in New York City? Approximately $100. That's $36,000 a year for food for one person. Now start doing that times hundreds of thousands and the hotels. in just New York and, City. And by the way, the, well, let's, let's, let's start to break this down. The hotels, okay, these, I mean, can you imagine that the taxpayers are paying for actual hotels for people who are in the country illegally and never should have made it into this country legally. Talk about the hotels for a minute. Then I want to dig into the NGOs because there's something I want to say. But tell, the hotels. Well, what, P Americans Let's are just, asking themselves, why the hell are we putting people in hotels and paying for it? Because there's no room in homeless shelters. So this is what our federal government did. They backstopped the, the major cities, the blue cities. So New York City, 50% of the hotels in New York City are filled with illegal aliens. Let's go to let's go to one place that I went to just two weeks ago. I went to Chicago to film my documentary, What is Treason? And I went to Chicago because I believe it's the epicenter of the ground zero of the illegal alien invasion. I went from, from 100 yards away, I went from a tent city, if you want to even call it that, of US veterans, US citizens, Drug addicts, mental illness, hundreds of, of U.S. citizens living in squalor. The stench of urine and feces was just overwhelming. It's like permeating my clothes. I walk 200 yards away, and I'm, in a, I'm looking at a, 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 a giant, probably a million square feet, that holds 1,200 illegal aliens, majority single adult military-age men from Venezuela, and they're living in a beautifully renovated building with tens of millions of dollars poured in it, and they're coming and going, three square meals a day. Doctors have access to doctors, nurses, uh, uh, complete food. They have same-day dry cleaning and wash your clothes service. Uh -huh. And I have brothers and sisters in this freaking country living in squalor. 